How can I make sure that my Kubernetes YAML manifest files and my Helm charts all respect the best practices in terms of security and configurations? I don't want to have misconfigurations like allowing the root user on my containers or not specifying CPU and memory requests and limits or not setting up the readiness and uh, liveness probes in my containers. Well, there are multiple tools available today that will help you to scan your Helm charts and your YAML manifest files looking for any misconfiguration. One of these tools is Kubelinter. Kubelinter is an open source project available on GitHub and this tool will help you to check for your YAML and Helm charts configurations. Kubelinter will, will actually define a list of checks that you can find in this link. Those checks will go to check for example if you have any service, any dangling service or any default service account used in, in your containers or if you have deprecated service account field or if you are setting a secret in your environment variables or if you have mismatching selector because it will analyze all your yaml files and it will try to find uh, those uh, patterns or these uh, anti-patterns and misconfigurations it will check also for your liveness probes if you have missed that configuration or if you have uh, or if your pods are running as root it will also check for if you are using the service account, the privileged container, and the uh, label owner. If you are using opening SSH in your containers, CPU and memory requests and limits in your containers. Let's now go to see how a demo on Kubelinter. For that, I have created this GitHub repo that contains a sample Helm chart and a sample YAML file, along with a file that contains all the commands that we'll see today. So it's switching to my VS Code, where here I have downloaded that GitHub repo in my machine. So into here, I have a sample YAML file that will create a pod. And here you see I am, I'm missing lots of uh, configurations like the CPU memory and uh, uh, limits and requests. And then I have a Helm chart that is defined into this folder Helm chart sample. And now I want to use kubelinter to scan those yaml files and those helm charts from the command line so here i have the list of these commands defined in commands.sh so i'll start first here by uh, here i have already introduced the link for installing kubelinter of course that's the first thing you need to do in your machine and by the way kubelinter can also run inside a docker container and here you have the command to do that so stackrocks and ha have uh, created a docker image that is called kubelinter that is available and you can use it if you don't want to use the uh, cli tool for kubelinter for me in this demo i'll use the cli tool and here i'll switch to my cli so if i run here kube-linter that's the cli use it for kubelinter i'll get the list of the commands that we can use so checks this will give you the list of the checks supported today with kubelinter and our main command here is lint this one will accept or will get a folder it will scan for all the yaml files inside that folder and will try to find those uh, misconfigurations so let's try to do that so i run here kubelinter and let's start first by analyzing our pod.yaml file so here it found actually three lint errors those errors it tells me here that it uh, this one does not have a read-only root file system. I should fix that. And then for the second one, it doesn't have CPU limit. And for the third one, doesn't have memory limit. And it gives me a link here that shows how I can fix those, uh, these issues in my YAML files. Great, now let's move to analyze the uh, kubelinter, but for our Helm chart. For that, I'll use the command kubelinter lint Helm chart sample. And from the Helm chart here, it found actually 12 lint errors. Those errors are around ready, uh, read only root file system should be defined to true and root run as a non root should be set to true and CPU and memory requests again, not set there. So kubelinter here allows me to detect those misconfigurations earlier in my development process, where before, even before uh, pushing those uh, YAML files into my CI CD pipelines or into my Kubernetes cluster. Here I can detect those misconfigurations, go to fix them in my YAML, then run kubelinter again. If it's all, if it tells me there are no more errors, then I can deploy those YAML files. 
Kubelinter allows you to customize your configuration for how Kubelinter works. So Kubelinter defines a, a predefined list of checks. If you don't want to run all of these checks or if you want to dismiss some of these checks or if you want to also define your own customized checks, you can absolutely do that. And here using the file cube, uh, kubelinter config.yaml, you can define here what are the list of the checks that you want to include or to exclude from your configurations. I hope this demo was helpful for you. For more videos, more content, go check out my YouTube channel.